So, who owns the gun? Trevor. Trevor, good guys tell the truth. Well, the gun belongs to somebody underage, right? You're painting yourself into a corner, Trevor. What does 32 mean? It's just a number. A number that happens to match the football jersey of our varsity running back. Why this animosity between you and Brad Larkin? I did the assignment. And what exactly was this assignment? Here's the assignment sheet. You'll see that Trevor did exactly what I asked him to. Well, if he only did what you asked him to, why did you turn him in? I let the school look at a videotape. That's simply our policy. That's correct. We expect all teachers to report all kinds of threats. Why would you put on bang, bang, everyone's dead? Bang, bang, you're dead. Yeah. And uh, we cast a student at risk as the play's killer in a supercharged atmosphere. Didn't you fear you might set him off? I think when you label a kid at risk, you just created a kid at risk. Trevor gets on stage to play Josh, he faces himself, and that's good. And then when the school needs a scapegoat, Trevor's hauled off down to the office for interrogation. And that, more than any play, is the kind of thing that could set someone off. Trevor, how do you explain your video? You've already made up your mind. Trevor, please. They're only trying to understand. No kid likes to admit he's being bullied. Makes him feel small in the eyes of his peers. Makes him a little kid who can't stand up for himself. Some kids would rather get beat up every day than to talk about it. So if you really want to get to the truth, call Brad Larkin down here. Ask him to explain how this video came into being. Brad Larkin's had no part in making this videotape. Brad Larkin inspired it. He inspired it. Look, everyone in this room needs to face one simple fact, and that is, before last year, Trevor was a model student. Mr. Larkin can tell you how and why that changed. Mr. Duncan, thank you. I'd like to see what's on those tapes. We found these among Trevor's possessions. Apparently he likes to take a video camera to school every day. Let's see what's on that tape first. Why did you take a video camera to school every day? Same reason you bring a gun to work, to shoot people. Trevor, just because they cast you as the bad guy doesn't mean you have to play the part. Look at this piece of trash. What are you doing? Nice camera, you geek. Get out of our school. Yeah. What the fuck? When I'm gone, you'll all have this to ponder and maybe realize why I did what I did. A little push in front of other kids is a very big deal. Particularly when you know it's gonna happen to you every single day. Every single day. Every single day. You're almost relieved when it actually happens. You're always waiting, waiting for the next attack. The trash can. Reach puberty yet? They don't just hurt kids, they make you hurt yourself. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. I can't take two more years of this. And the more they call me the mad bomber, the more they're scared themselves. They don't know what I'm capable of. They don't know what I can do. And then there's the sanctuary of home sweet home. Tell you to cut the grass. Okay. You say okay, but you don't do it. What's going on in here? Is it too much to ask you to spend half an hour cutting the grass? I said okay. You say okay, but you're still inside the house. You know how many hours a week I work? It takes over an hour to cut the grass. I don't care if it takes five hours to cut the grass. Don't you? Dad, I said I cut the grass. I'll go cut the grass. All right. So the play, yes? Mr. Do Gooder, why does he even bother? Doesn't he know it's already too late? It's creepy, right? Yeah. Sometimes I see the way things could have been. I just wish I could be the person she thinks I am. Kids can be the most ruthless people in the world. They can just be supernaturally cruel.
Gotta be a man. Be a man! Be a man! Some days you just wanna... You just wanna cry. You're right! Sometimes hate is the only real thing in the world. You can stop loving somebody, but hate seems to go on forever. People respect hate. It speaks, it vibrates. Hey man, let me help you out. <laughs> okay. Some people don't even need a gun to hurt you. They use words or laughter. They enjoy watching you bleed to death. You look like a trash can. They get off on watching you fighting back the tears, getting a lump in your throat, blushing, wanting to cry. And they give you a name. Trash can. Pizza face. Loser. Faggot. Loser. Weirdo. Spaz. Retard. You know, the name does something to you. It changes who you are. It alters your, your, your molecules. And one day you wake up and, and you look in the mirror and you don't recognize you anymore because you believe them. I win, you lose. You want to cry, please leave me alone, but nobody's listening because nobody cares because you don't have a name anymore because they took it away. And then one day, they say that name and you hear something go snap. I trust you! You realize what you got to do. You got to take back your name. And you've got to do it in front of the whole school because that's where they took your name away from you. You've got to do it so every kid will remember. This is about justice. And after a while, you can only think of one way. Jonesboro, Springfield, Paducah, Columbine. A gun, a bomb, instant justice. Ba-bang. But what a rush when they roll out that yellow tape. Miles and miles of yellow tape. They won't have enough when I'm finished. So when these hallways are flooded with rivers of blood, when these hallways are choked with their corpses and body bags, you will all say, oh, what a tragedy. What a tragedy. But possibly, after viewing my tapes, you won't be so quick to judge. Maybe that's why I was put on this earth. So consider this my last will and testament. Well, okay, let's stop, please. Mr. Duncan, who do you want to call in here? <clears throat> hey. What the hell? I don't know. It's totally ridiculous. Bullshit. Everybody gets teased, verbally or physically? Both. Even among friends? happen what things you know uh horsing around horsing around yeah everybody horses around it's a pecking order it's part of school did you ever hurt anyone no no way and what if i said we have videotape of you slamming kids into lockers and shoving their heads into toilets among other things mark why is there animosity between the football team and trevor I think it started when he got trash canned. Explain yourself, please. Last year, there was a spontaneous pep rally in the cafeteria. We had a shot at the state championship, so we wanted everyone to come to the game. Adrenaline was high. And what would you say, Mark, if I told you that ever since that day, Trevor's life has been a living hell? I'd say that I feel pretty bad. 
but I can't say I understand why he feels that way. We never intended to hurt anyone. Whenever classmen trash can me, yeah, it was embarrassing, humiliating, but it teaches you to get over stuff, and I don't think that's a bad thing. Who helped you trash can, Trevor? I'd rather not say. But I'll take all responsibility. I'm sorry. I really am. Dude, don't apologize to him. It, it was me. In fact, it was my idea. We've all been trash canned. None of us threatened to blow up the school because of it, except for the terrorist over there. Brad, cool it. But he is a terrorist. What has he done for this school? We try to bring a little glory to Rivervale, and the terrorist just ruins our reputation. Nobody should be apologizing to him. He's dangerous, and he doesn't belong in this school. So don't make us the bad guys. Yeah, he's dangerous to the status quo of a school that cares more about kids who make touchdowns and slam dunks than kids who are just trying to make it through the day. I just, I think that Trevor puts on a dangerous act so that kids will leave him alone. Gentlemen, I will see you all in my office after school to discuss suspension and possible expulsion. Mr. Duncan, I apologize for not hearing you. However, that video is what it is. Trevor, today you have forced us to take a long, hard look at our school. But that does not excuse the fact that you made a death threat which triggers our zero tolerance policy. I have no choice but to expel you. And you should expect a mandatory psychiatric evaluation. Mr. and Mrs. Adams, I'm sure that Police Chief McGee will agree with me that because of the use of the gun, your son will require a lawyer. On a more personal note, this is the most difficult decision that I have ever had to make in school.